Hi, welcome to the channel. Let's see what's going on in the garden today. Will it be pots? Will it be plants? Will it be house plants? Let's just see what we can find going on. Hi, it's Kim, and let's talk about how I water plants. What I use is I found very, very efficient, a multi-purpose sprayer, the kind you might mix uh, garden chemicals and, uh, I don't know, bug spray. It's perfect to water your plants. Just use pure water, uh, mix with a little bit of fer fertilizer, and it's perfect. I'll show you how I use it. I also use dehumidifier water, and an expandable garden hose is wonderful. And then for the yard, we have irrigation. That also sprays part of the flower beds. But this is how I do it. Okay, these are my watering tools that I find very, very useful. I had bought this one. You can get that for under $10 usually. This one I picked up at a garage sale. And what I'm using that for is just to water my plants. You can mix up your water soluble fertilizer in these and then instead of walking back and forth with one of the pitchers, I had walked back and forth from the sink with one of these pitchers and watered with my um, turkey baster. I can bring one of these. So depending on how you feel about the weight of this, it's about a gallon of water, so it weighs about eight pounds. You can just go around to your plants and just give them a little bit of water like this. Just giving them as much as they need or as little as they need until they're saturated. And it can also, you can use it as a mister. I can take this and just mist the Take this and just mist the plants and let them get real saturated. I hope you can see that mist I'm going. A pop. But look, you can see these right here. You can just go along and carry your water with you. And of course, if you need if it needs a real strong spray or a lot of water, you can just hold it on a little longer and give it a lot of water. Now in my hypertufa ones, I like to wet that uh, planter too because the hypertufa breathes so well and lets a lot of air in. If I water the concrete per se, then that helps it to hydrate the entire plant. But you can see how simple and easy this would be to walk along your planters. Get a good close-up of this one. Walk along your planters and just give them a nice dose of water, which really gives them the foliar feeding that I like when I put my plant food in this. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? And then I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. Now this works best for small plants, of course. I can fill up the little bottoms like that. And it seems to work really well. Misting big giant plants like this on my porch patio, I can get a good misting done. You can see that coming out. You can adjust it into a fine mist. And that's really good for the plants, especially in this heat. We're hovering at 90 degrees today. So for them to have a nice, nice bit of water to mist them increases the humidity, which a lot of these plants really, really love. But you might, ha might uh, like this because it's a little heavy. It weighs about eight pounds, but I think it's a lot better than back and forth, back and forth with a pitcher. Now, of course, it depends on how much you need to water. If I needed to water this, I can adjust my spray 
to be just a little bit more strong. Oh, I think I'm running out of my pressure. You can see how the pressure is low and you just have to kind of do a little unscrew and then give it a few more pumps. And then you have a little bit of your strength back. So that's an idea for you to water your plants. And this works inside. Let's say if I were inside and I don't want to get water, water on anything, then I could keep my little nozzle right to the base of my plant and make sure I'm watering just there, not getting water on the floor or anywhere around. And that works just perfectly. So you might want to consider one of these if you think that would be a convenience because I really love it. Now I have been using my dehumidifier here in the basement. I have been using that water that it collects to um, water my plants. I figured it's very close to distilled water. And what I do is remove this um, container here on the bottom and pour it into my gallon jugs. Okay, now hit the red button. And... Now that the dehumidifier water, I leave that outside for an hour or so, and the heat out here kind of gets it a little less cold because I'm going to use that to pour into the tomato plant and keep that watered. The tomato plant's doing really well. I've got some green tomatoes in there, but that's what I use on some of my outdoor plants. And then I also fill up the water jugs to water the indoor plants, either with that, um, the gallon handheld or just in my water pitchers. But I think that water, it uses that water that's pulled directly right out of the air. That conserves. Now I have my distilled water saved in these gallon. Um, some of them are tea, some of them are milk. I have that all saved from my distilled water. That way I can put it into a pitcher and water the house plants. Now I have purchased distilled water, but since I can do my own from the dehumidifier, that's not something I have to do any longer. Now outdoors, I use a garden hose. And ordinarily, I like to use one of these collapsible hoses, kind of made with a nylon-like material because they shrink up. Now, I think this one is a different type that I've got here, but I like the little wrinkly shrinky dinks like I have out front. I'll show you that in a minute. But, it's easiest to pull this around and to get everything watered real nicely, but it's light. Now these are ones that I have yet to hang and plant, but we can get them watered easily. And it doesn't matter if I get water all over the place and I can water them a lot or a little, just depending on what's necessary. Now this one up here, that's my mandevilla. Oh my God. <laughs> that's my mandevilla. And 
that has just been hung and I need to lower it down with some chain or some kind of uh, roping because it needs to be a lot lower so that I can get to it. But that plant is gonna be gorgeous. Okay, that looks really good. And I guess we'll have a video about the clematis later. But for right now, I'm just gonna get to see it watered. I have my elephant ears down here too, those giant pots that we planted upstairs. I did bring those downstairs. We had a little gnat war in uh, going on, so I decided to bring those outside, but more about that later on. Honey, what do you do? Go. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, what is this? You're not sweeping anything. I you have to do your duty. Uh -huh, okay. Look at that mess to sweep up. Look at that mess. Oh, wait a minute. Not put this under the garden benches and cleaning it up. Yes, it is. I need to explain things <laughs> to you about cleaning up. No, you don't. <laughs> this, this is my most favorite hose. It's the pocket hose and it, it's collapsible. It's real, I don't know, wrinkled. And then when the water pressure gets into it, it stretches out and makes a nice long hose. I, I think this is the 50 foot one, but I like it the best. They don't last forever, but if it lasts a season, it's worthwhile to me. It's my favorite to do my containers out here out front.